Welcome students to the latest pop-up masterclass. It's me, Matthew Reinhardt, your professor in all that pops. Let's get started uh, because today is the third uh, pop-up masterclass and we're gonna learn about an important uh, mechanism uh, in making pop-ups and they're called V-folds. The reason why it's called a V-fold is because it's shaped like a V. Actually, why don't I show you some V's in motion from some of my books? Now, I don't see any, you don't see any V's really going on here, but I've hidden them. Underneath, if you look down by the neck of this shark, there's a big wide V-shaped fold. And that's a V-fold, there's actually another one underneath. First, let's get a piece of cardstock. Now, the reason why I use cardstock is it's a little bit heavier than regular paper. Uh, if you can't get cardstock, you can use a manila uh, folder. Uh, and cut it up if you want to recycle that or you can even use construction paper but it's not quite as strong as this sort of paper. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to line up those corners and I'm going to crease it just like that using my fingernail. So let's take a pencil. We're going to make a line from the center of our card. See where the fold is? We're going to make it from the center straight down just like that. And we're going to cut along that line just like that. See how I did that? Look at short. And we're going to fold two triangles from that cut. The one, one is going to, this corner here is going to point up to that corner. Just like that. And this corner is going to point up to there. I'm going to use my fingernail again. Or no, well, you know, I'm going to use the handles for my scissors to just make that crease nice and sharp. See, look at... Now it kind of looks like the collar of a shirt, doesn't it? Uh, we're gonna push these back, both of those triangles, and we're gonna turn it over and, and fold the triangles in the opposite direction. This helps make our pop-up move better because paper is made of fibers, and if we break some of the fibers, that those hinges for our pop-up will move better. And okay, then I'm gonna push them back up in the original position. Now, this, is, this next part's kind of tough, so if you have smaller hands, it might help to have someone like an adult help, help hold the card while you push these triangle areas through. So what I do is I hold it like a tent, and I'm pushing, oops, see why it's sometimes hard? Push it right through to the inside of the card. See what I did there? There's one side. Pushing it right through. See how I did that? Close it shut. Now I'm gonna crease it again to make that work just right. Let's open it up. I don't know what's going to be in there. Yeah, totally lip sync. This is two V folds that we made from one cut in our paper. What's cool about this is where, whenever you make a pop-up and you have new folds, you can build stuff off of them. Let's add two more smaller V folds to our large one. And I'm going to do just what I did before. Remember when I made that line? I'm going to make another straight line down to the fold, but it's going to be a smaller line, see? much smaller than the one we had made here. I'm gonna use my scissors. I'm gonna cut through. See, there's two sides, one and two. I'm gonna cut through both sides. I'm crazy like that. Now we're gonna fold up. Remember before we folded up those triangles? So I'm gonna do two triangles on one side, just like that. Turn it over and do two more triangles. Oops, that one pushed away. There we go. See? Now let's push those triangles back. One, two, three, four. Let's open up our pop-up this way. This time, I'm gonna push those areas, those V-folds, I'm gonna push on them from behind with my finger like this while my pop-up's open. Sometimes it's a little hard to get them through, let's see. There's one side. Let's do the other. So I pushed them through. And then I'm gonna close it shut. And now I can see I've made eyes that open and close along my mouth pop up. Look at how cool that is. Now what's great is there's so much movement and it actually even starts to fill out some of the face. Remember when we made layers, when we cut out the lines down here? Well, let's make some layers and then we'll build this into something a little bit cooler. We're not gonna make a frog. Let's make something different. Why not? So let's close it shut and when we made layers before, if anyone remembers from one of the last lessons, you better remember. Let's make two lines just like this on this fold right here. They're kind of short and they should be the same, the same height. 
I'm gonna cut along both of those lines just like this. And they're going through both sides. And we fold up one little rectangle, turn it over, fold up the other rectangle. Now layers work with rectangles and squares, whereas V-folds work with triangles. Let's push these back. All right? But we now, what's great is we've added layers to our V-fold. So now, there are the layers, and there are our V-folds. We could add pieces on top of one of these layers to fill out our pop-up a little bit. So let's take some cardstock. Uh, oh, I know, I know. I'm gonna just make some little arms. I'll use some double stick tape. Remember, when you're taping one piece onto another surface, I'm gonna just do it onto this surface, you use glue or you can use double-sided tape. I've seen some students do this with one-sided tape when they make the little roll up. It just doesn't seem to work as well. So don't do that. I use double stick and I just put it, see I just put it on this surface right here, this rectangle. And now, let's see, now I have an arm that's stuck off of the rest of this. And maybe I should make another arm, you think? Yeah, I think so. Now, I've already added a piece of double stick right here. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna use some crayons, turn this into something. Now, I know everyone usually likes to say, oh, make it into a frog. Nah, it's not gonna be a frog. There we go. So we took our V folds. There's our, there's our one, two, three, four. We added four V folds. And then we also added these really cool layers at the bottom. So we've made ourselves a really cool alien going like, shh, don't tell anyone I'm here. Shh. All righty, class. Now we're going to make another card. We're going to, uh, again, make our hamburger fold to start. This is our base page. That we're going to make. The, the, the center fold of our um, card is kind of like the engine that makes our pop-ups move. So when we open a card like that, that's the engine. That gives all the power to make pop-ups move. All right, so let's make sure we have a good fold right, right there. And now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use some colored cardstock so that we can see the V folds in action. I'm going to cut a shape off the corner of my piece of paper. See these two sides of the, the this is actually a 90 degree angle, this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to fold this side to meet this side, just like this. See how it's meeting? And then I'm going to make that crease real nice. Now if you want, you can lop off the top like this just so we have it nice and, and neat. And now what we've made is a V-fold. And I'm going to uh, use my pencil again to mark off where that center fold is. Okay, so this is a V-fold. And this time we're going to tape this V-fold to our page. First what we do is we line up the center of the V, the V-fold, we line up the center of the V-fold with the center of our card, just like so. And I'm going to use some one-sided tape, and I'm going to tape it along these two sides. Because, do you see that V? That's where our V-fold's going to be, right there. And that's where we need to attach it to the base page. Make sure the center line of your V is lined up with the center of that base page. And also, let's make sure that we tape it along the entire edge. So I used a bigger piece of tape this time. And I'm gonna use just a little bit more tape, just, just so that our V stays down and is, is attached to our, our, our base page. Now when we open and close it, wait a minute, nothing's happening. Oh, look what it did. 
It didn't, it didn't make a pop-up. When it does this, sometimes that happens. What you do, you do is push it out. Now, when you open and close it, it moves. Now, remember when we had the mouth? That's the same as the top of the mouth. And if we put another V going the other way, it would make a mouth just like before. I don't think we want to do that. This time we want to learn about how we can add more V's to this V to make something really cool. All right, now I'm going to make some more V's and attach them to this one. So I'm going to use a different color cardstock and I'm going to cut off the corners. See, I'm going to make one going this way, one triangle this way. I'm going to cut off this other corner too. I use the corners because they've already made that part of the triangle for me. So I can just, I can just use it. But you can also cut it with your scissors. All right, so I fold it in half. There's one V. And then I'm gonna take my other triangle that I cut from the corner, and I'm gonna fold it in half so you can see it. So here we got two Vs. Remember that when we, we add these Vs, we add them along the V shape of the triangle. That's the V shape right there. And we have the center fold. We can line it up and place it wherever there's a fold. So there's one, let's mark here. There's a line that we could use to build off of. We could build off of this line. Technically, if we were crazy, we could build off the back of this and have our V-fold going that way if we wanted to. I don't want to do that today, but let's, let's see. I think I'm going to have a V going that way. I have to make sure that it's lined up along this fold line. Now, can you guess? where I'm supposed to use my uh, one-sided tape to tape it to this main page and main default. It's not here. It's here. Here. And I'm just showing you. And there. Tape it along that edge. Make sure that's lined up. It's lined up really nicely. Even if I do say so myself. And now watch. They move. They move. One moves upward, one moves downward. Kind of diagonal down. That's kind of nice. I think I should also add this V to it. I'm going to add it right there and see how I've lined it up against this, this other fold. It doesn't matter if that edge goes over the edge of this. But when you tape it, it does. So let's tape it using my one-sided tape. I'm going to tape it along this edge here. If you tape it along the edge and you do something like that. See how the tape is over the edge there? You don't want that sticky part over the edge. If you do, you can fold it over the other side so that the sticky is not is no longer free to get caught on something. And then we tape it here. And we're gonna only tape it from here to here because we don't want any sticky extra tape up there. Like, I'll show you. Okay, well I taped it all along the edge like you told me. Uh, but see what happens? It sticks to the paint. We don't want we don't want that extra tape. So what I'm going to do is, you can also use your pair of scissors and just cut it off when you have extra hanging off the edge like that. Now we have both of our V's attached to the main V. Look at that movement. So this one, this V is going up this way. This V is going down this way. And this main V is going upward. That's such great movement. All right, well, now I'm looking at this and what could we turn this into? First, I'm gonna start cutting out some pieces and putting them on some of these different surfaces to see how they move. When I do that, when I put a surface onto another surface, and you're going to tape it, when you do it, you're gonna only make sure that it, you put tape on one of the triangle surfaces, not going across. So I'm just going to start adding pieces on here. Make sure that when you add double stick and stuff like that, that it doesn't go over onto a fold. You don't want that. I'm use this shape and I don't even know what it's going to be yet. Sometimes what happens is I'll just put big pieces on things and I'll see how they move and look together. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's a cool moving because that big piece comes upward. Maybe surface to surface you use double stick. So I'm going to add just this odd shape onto here and start, now I'm starting to see, what's cool is it's moving in like a different direction. Oh, that's great. Let's turn it around. Sometimes I look at things in different ways so I can see what possibly, what could that be? 
I'm gonna fill it out so that there's a bigger body. I see an animal here I could make. I like making animals. Since I showed you earlier how to make, well, how I made um, a shark from all those V folds, maybe I'll make another shark. Double stick. And what I might do is I'm gonna make shapes bigger than the pop-up is going to be and then I'll draw it and then cut off the edges. Remember that when you're making your pop-up, it's okay to take off the pieces if you don't like them. I'm just gonna use my crayons and start drawing the outside shape of a shark. This is a pink shark, because why not? I'm gonna use my scissors. Now if it's hard for you to cut the edges, all you gotta do is take the piece off real quick. And I'm gonna cut along those edges just like that. Or if you're really good with your scissors and you really practice a long time, you can just carefully cut the edges. She needs her, let's see, lateral fins. That sounds good, right? Now she needs her um, tail fin. You never know what a good piece of scrap is gonna, when it's gonna help you. And I'm gonna just cut off this little piece here. So when you're making your pop-ups, don't be afraid to make mistakes and don't be afraid to um, try things and see what works and see what doesn't. What's really cool about making pop-ups is, and some of these paper pieces, they're so easy to take on and off that you can experiment and see what works and what doesn't work. All right, class, so that's all for today. We learned about V-folds and this is just the beginning of all the cool stuff that V-folds can do in pop-ups. Hey, you like these videos? Please make sure to like and subscribe. Oh, and by the way, please, 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 please share your creations with the world. I wanna see what you've done. Be sure to tag me so that I can see all the stuff that you've created along with the pictures or videos of your work. You want that extra credit, right? I know you do. See you next time for the uh, pop-up masterclass. What do you have to say? Oh, I'm gonna get poppin'. Woo!